Good morning, everybody, and welcome to 2018 Summer School on the studies and the magic of fur. We've all seen some videos, and I just want to see it myself. Right now, the animals are in their growth period. That means that they are not uh, developed yet, either their size or their fur. Everything is very clean, so so it's welfare, so you know, it's very, very healthy animal, looks like. I applied for the summer school because I wanted to see more of the European side of fur. I wanted to see all the different parts of the industry. It's really great to see so many people working in fur and just like how large scale this whole operation is. This man's job is to join pieces of leather in between the fox. You cannot see them unless you blow into it. But what they do is expand the piece. This is cut by hand, not by machine. What we need. Whatever is taken off and uh, it remains is then put together in another way to continue the recuperation of the pieces. Mm -hmm. This is amazing and uh, even the tiniest pieces, like you can always reuse them and make something amazing and beautiful from it. I was also very uh, amazed by the fact that you can turn it actually into the gas, so basically like you're also helping the environment because it doesn't produce any pollution. We visited a, an energy plant where they uh, would dispose of the carcass and the animal's waste and turn it into biogas. I did have those questions about well, where is the waste going? What are we doing with the parts that aren't used? Because, you know, people aren't eating mink or fox. So, you know, now I have an answer for that. And now I feel so much more comfortable participating in this industry. There is so much uh, talk about pollution and everything and plastic. So I think fur is totally something that we need right now. I think they are so, people are so brainwashed. The information and everything is quite wrong. And all those influencers are promoting how bad it is to wear fur. The oceans are full of uh, plastic. They don't think that uh, the full fur is the plastic what is in the end in our oceans. We are at BTS factory. It is a dressing, a dyeing factory. Here is the place of our washing machine to wash the oils from the skins. We recycle everything from the washing machines, so we do not harm the environment. We can create all colors that we like. Uh, you will have the chance to see how a color is created. We are proud that we are furious. We are proud that we built a very nice dressing factory, which uh, we don't stop to make research what is better, environmentally friendly activity for, for our business. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with fur in the future, but I'd love to use it um, in different ways, more detailed ways. I really liked textile manipulation or fur manipulation um, Saga Fur uses, for example. Um, they added some kind of fringes and combined this with fur or just adding some fur stripes on fabric and creating really art, not just a new fabric, really art. You can just take that piece and hang it on a wall. Yeah, I really love that. It was the most stunning thing I saw. You cut the same pattern and switch it around. The problem with this one is that you always get a positive and negative if you don't want any waste. It's very flexible and soft, so this technique is also good for when you want to do or combine it with knit because it's flexible. I want to uh, work with fur only because I see in the eyes uh, that people which uh, working with me, um, they want to give uh, me something and I want to take something. So uh, I, uh, I have experience, but uh, I want to learn, 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 learn. People are basically shaming you for doing it. Now I can defend myself and be like, you don't know the entire story and here it is. I think now I can actually defend it and be like, it's not how you think. Because I've been to the farms, I've been to the manufacturers, I have seen how it is. 
As a designer, it's uh, crucial that you know where your product comes from, and I've learned so much that I didn't even know about. The summer school is about growth and development. It's about research and about touching and feeling, sensing and smelling. It's about discovering yourself through exploration, through the explanation from others, through researching, and the best weapon of all is knowledge. And this is what we're giving. The summer school is about acquiring knowledge through design and exploration of creative powers and creative processes.